pleasure for me to be here. I, I always like coming back to Purdue. I've been back uh, several times since I left Purdue in, uh, in 1991. Um, done a lot of things since then, but uh, one, of the, one of my fondest memories of being here is, of course, participating in Grand Prix. Uh, did that several years in a row uh, with uh, Sigma Phi Epsilon. Fraternity. Really, the videos, and when you watch a space launch on TV, it doesn't do it justice. You know, it just kind of lifts off the pad and takes off. You think, oh, it's going pretty slow, not a big deal. But we're literally doing 100 miles an hour by the time we clear the tower at 100 feet. And the, the impact, it literally feels like an impact, like someone ran into the back of your chair and, uh, and launched you off the planet. And I knew for sure we were leaving Earth. There was no doubt in my mind that the rocket was leaving. So it's a spectacular ride in space. Um, it's eight minutes long. So we leave and take off. We see about three Gs with three times the force of gravity against our chest as we're going off into space. That lasts for about six minutes, that, that force that we feel through our chest. And it gives you a sensation of having your guts squished all against the back of your ribcage, which is not a very comfortable feeling. But the good news is that eventually it ends. And when the rocket engines stop burning, we hit main engine cutoff, or MECO, eight minutes later, Everything in the cabin, including your guts and your you know, helmet out, everything just rocks forward in your seatbelt. Um, it's like slamming on the brakes in a car. Uh, but after that, it all becomes a lot of fun because everything starts floating. Take off your helmet, it starts floating, your gloves start floating. Those people that are vomiting, their vomit is floating. You know, everything's floating at the same time. It's a lot of fun. Set it in the back there, and then we climbed back in there with our spacesuits on, opened up the doors to this tel telescope, and started working on the insides of the telescope. We've had people living in space since the year 2000. We send, uh, you know, six people are living there all the time, year round, and you can just imagine you don't take showers up there, you take sponge baths. So you don't really have a good way to clean off the, the skin cells. And so all those dead skin cells, which there are millions of every day, right? Rub your arm, right? And light, and you see all the skin cells. That stuff's everywhere on the space station. So it's pretty, it's pretty yucky place it can be. And so we spend a lot of time cleaning, doing housekeeping and stuff like that, just to try to keep the dust down. I've been to a couple like different astronaut talks in the past before. Um, this one was neat because he talked a lot about like liftoff and like actually working the missions. Or in the past, I've just heard people talking about like how to go to the bathroom. It's really inspirational, just like knowing that I'm following in the footsteps of someone who's done so much. View uh, requires some level of dexterity with our fingertips. Uh, surprising. Well, I thought it went pretty well, and a uh, great crowd today. A lot of interest and uh, good questions afterwards. Uh, hopefully, we inspired some of these folks to uh, get involved, maybe in the space program, or think about their future options and. Uh, maybe not just be limited to those things that are directly related to their degrees. For us, it's, uh, it's just a great opportunity. I normally come back with my wife, Indra, and she's also a graduate of uh, Purdue University. And so we like to come back together and share the stories of uh, our experiences and where Purdue led us uh, after we left the campus. And it's always a nice time of year, especially in the spring when the flowers start popping out. So it's good to be here. Well, each time I was in space, I took some uh, Purdue memorabilia with me, either in the form of a t-shirt or a hat or something like that. And that uh, always, you know, thought about um, while I was in space wearing those items, you know, what Purdue meant to me and uh, how the school actually led me to where I was. So just usually grateful for having had the opportunity and I think Purdue was a great start for that.